I always get questions about, you know, once people start working with these ones, nines and nineties, I always get a question of, so I have this user here that I've started interacting with and I don't really know if it's a one or a nine. Well, the thing you can, you know, make the difference between a one and a nine, because sometimes you're really lucky and there is a one who's super interested in what you do and they just happen to have a big network. That doesn't happen very often though. Uh, so the, 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 and that's where the sort of complication comes in. So for you to be able to separate a one and a nine is based on their motivation. Are they interacting with you in order to help you build something? Are they willing to co-create with you? If they are, well, then they are a one. If they're not, if you will have to pay them or you have to caress them or you have to bring them to a special party or give them an invite or, you know, do things to them to make them shine, shine like a star, well, then they are a nine. So um, this is sort of the easiest way to separate the two. So a one is there to collaborate with you, to help you, and is doing this without you having to reward them. Your love and interaction with them is, you know, reward enough. For the nines, on the other hand, you always have to give them something for them to perform for you. Now, the way you reward them uh, is something that you can build on more than monetary structures. You can build on social and emotional structures, which will, feel, which will make them feel as though they are rewarded in a bigger context where, you know, they are at center. So the biggest difference between a one and a nine, these guys, friends, these guys are using you.